So it's another gorgeous autumn Saturday morning in East Tennessee, and what do you do? Well, you go hiking, of course. And because you don't want to soak up all that gorgeous loveliness by yourself, you proceed to beg, coax, and cajole your 14-year-old son to go with you. And when he finally relents, you pack up your gear and you head out the door. So where did we end up this time? Well, stick around and I'll share where we ended up yesterday and all about our latest East Tennessee adventure. Hi, I'm Susan, your East Tennessee Realtor, and I create content all about what it's like living in East Tennessee. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you're thinking about moving to East Tennessee and you have any questions or you need any assistance, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description box below and I would really love to help you. So without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So I actually spent a fair amount of time researching our destination because, well, it's autumn in East Tennessee and the tourists are here doing exactly what we've set out to do, which is hike. I really didn't want to fight a bunch of traffic and, um, you know, fight for an hour or two trying to find a parking spot. So knowing this, I immediately eliminated all of Sevier County hiking trails, including anything in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, thinking that we would hit those trails in the off season. I also ruled out Panther Creek because we have been there so many times before, and I didn't want to head back to House Mountain because I was there last weekend. I also didn't want to travel more than an hour, and I definitely wanted a trail with a great view so I could capture some gorgeous autumn colors. So knowing all of that, I dug around for a little while on my All Trails app and finally decided that Lover's Sleep Loop in Hot Springs, North Carolina sounded like the perfect location for our next adventure. So if you're wondering how far the drive is, it's about 50 minutes from the Dandridge area and from Jefferson City, Morristown and Newmarket, you're looking at about an hour and five minutes. From Newport, it's about 35 minutes. And from the Sevierville, say Kodak area, you're looking at about an hour and 10 minute drive. So Lover Sleep is a very popular area for bird watching and of course hiking, but they also had a launch for rafting and tubing, it looked like right where we were at the parking lot that we ended up in. But anyway, the trailhead was just a short walk from the parking lot and the trail itself was very well marked with orange markers if you go uh, clockwise around the loop and white markers when you went um, counterclockwise. So if you want to start on the orange trail though, you'll want to take note that you'll want to keep walking past the white trailhead until you find the orange trail. We chose to head out on the white trail which begins along the French Ford River. Keep in mind, however, that there are no bathrooms or water available, so you'll definitely want to plan accordingly. As I mentioned before, this trail is classified as a moderate trail, and I would definitely agree. I don't necessarily recommend this trail for a beginner, there are quite a few very steep inclines that had me pretty, pretty well huffing and puffing, but they also do have some switchbacks to help ease the progression upward. So if you're a brand new hiker just beginning, you might not want to try this trail as one of your first ones. Also, I would definitely recommend trekking poles and hiking boots as there are a number of loose rocks and roots and the trekking poles would definitely help you as you're heading downward some of those steeper inclines. So if you do decide to make the trip over to hike at Lover's Leap Loop, I definitely recommend making a day of it. The town of Hot Springs is just right there before the trailhead and it is adorable. There is so much to do there. In fact, the day that we were there it was a Saturday. The Hot Springs Farmer's Market and Artisan Market was going on, which is a farm market that runs April through October. And here you can find no spray seasonal produce, fruit, plant starts, locally roasted organic coffee, eggs, fresh baked bread and treats, jewelry, canned goods, and all kinds of homemade gifts.
So the little town of Hot Springs also has the cutest little restaurants and pubs. There's a tavern, there's um, a, a diner called the Smoky Mountain Diner where you can get Southern Comfort food and a place called Iron Horse Station which also serves up Southern Comfort food. A place called Dave's 209 that has the most amazing looking burgers. And then Big Pillow Brewing which has outdoor seating and it's a little brewery. But there's also a Trailside Bakery and Cafe and Vasti's Rivery Provisions serves up gourmet groceries and local um, products. So I would definitely recommend spending some time and um, exploring the town and grabbing a bite to eat before or after your hike. So even if hiking isn't your thing, there are so many other outdoor activities in this area that you won't want to miss, including there's zip lining, biking, camping, rafting and tubing like I mentioned before. In the winter time, of course, you can go skiing. They even have clay pigeon shooting, zip lining, fishing, golf, disc golf, and even horseback riding. So this is the perfect place to go if you're an outdoor enthusiast. Okay y'all, so that's all I wanted to share about our trip to Lover's Leap Loop in Hot Springs, North Carolina, but I'm gonna go ahead and let the rest of the video play out so you guys can take in all the beautiful uh, scenery and gorgeousness that we were able to see on our hike. Um, and if you like the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are looking to move to East Tennessee, um, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description box below. I would absolutely love to assist you. But that is all that I have for this video, you guys. I hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.